Vlog 525. This is day two in this unbelievable 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I'm sorry, the camera just hit the roof. It's a little bouncy. How can you not smile and drive this thing? It's ridiculous. The looks that I get, I'm, I'm sure the looks are the combination of, wow, that's really cool, to, oh my God, who would drive such a ridiculous thing? That would be me. I would drive this. And you know what? I am. This morning, I'm taking this incredible Jeep up to the Murphy Automotive Museum. We're going to be playing with some cars and some vintage trailers and God knows what. It's a little bit of a rainy day and it's going to start to kind of ease up today, but more rain coming in this is the perfect car for it. Hallelujah, brother! has a new exhibit that's going in full of Studebakers and Packards and they got to move all these cars out and then we're also going to take a look at a vintage trailer a really cool one a canned ham right over somewhere over there that goes in the back that goes in the back Dewey Weber's wagon that goes in the back and this Studebaker goes back, even though it's a Studebaker. I'm not really sure what that means. Love that sound. Woo! I put a charger on it earlier in the week. It works! And I, I go, oh no, but it worked. Looks like I'm going to be moving Dewey's car. I'm going to be driving Dewey Weber's car. Right there. Wow. That's been sitting for three months. Look at all these guys. Dewey Weber's. This is amazing. This car is awesome. What's up, guys? You having fun? It's awesome. Uh, this is Chrissy. We're at the at the Murphy Automotive Museum. I said it right. You did. Yeah, I usually flip that one up. Uh, you have a, a trailer behind us, a, a vintage camper. I do. That is really cool, and otherwise known as a canned ham. That's what they which say. I'm sure is delicious. <laughs> How long have you had this particular one? Oh gosh, about three years now. Okay, and what is it exactly? It's a 1954 Jewel trailer, Can Ham. Ju is it officially called a Can Ham or it's just kind of called that because? Because it's got like this Can Ham shape. Like the trailers in the 50s kind of have this round Can Ham shape. Has anyone ever actually take, taken the graphics of a ham and put it on their trailer? I've seen people who have actually um, cool. painted their trailer blue, uh -huh. like spam color blue, yeah. and then put the word spam like the logo on the side and now it's become a spam ham trailer. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay. 
Why, why this for you? I mean, you know, you can go out and you can get any kind of trailers, brand new with all the fixings and everything else. Why a vintage trailer like this for you guys? Well, it all started, we were tent camping. Mm -hmm. Which Went, sucks. Which sucks. It was windy, <laughs> the tent blew down, the zipper yeah. broke, the dogs were The working. dirt's not that soft. No, and yeah. for, you know, older folks like us, you know, it, it's, it's not comfortable anymore. Woke up the next morning, I'm like, honey, Steven, my not then husband. Yeah. I'm like, Stephen, um, we need to get a trailer. How about a vintage trailer? And that's how it all started. But how often do you guys take this out? Well, we take it out. We try to do it at least six times six times a year. We go to vintage trailer rallies yeah. all over California. And here's your slave right here. <laughs> your vintage trailer slave. Come over here. I, I tow it. I level it. Mm -hmm. I wash it. Um, and uh, Everything a husband should do. So that she can enjoy it. They're just really cool. Can, really cool. can we go take a look? Yeah, let's do it. What's, what is the best part about this trailer for you? The best part is camping with all our vintage trailer friends. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's gotta be the best. And just getting the thumbs up going down the road, you know, <laughs> everyone just loves them. Doing good. Don't be nervous. Oh, no, no. Straighten it out. More true facts about David Neal. He's much taller in real life. <laughs> and he's got two heads. Yeah. This is the Murphy Odd Museum Sheriff right here. Yeah. Law and order. Yeah. I give up. Whatever you want. The Packards are coming in. finished moving all the Packard Studebaker's combinations. Um, what is coming? What is this? So we're making space for our new exhibit, Studebaker's and Packard's. It debuts uh, tomorrow, the 8th of January, and it will run through the end of March. And check our website because mid-March we have the Los Angeles Studebaker Club annual winter meet, which is held right here at the museum. We'll have about 40 Studebakers, Packards, Pierce Arrows. I'm going to be bringing all these guys. Good. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much all of them. But if you're, if you're local, you're yeah. in L.A., you got to come to this event because it's right. going to be a blast. That's right. So check our website, murphyautomuseum.org, for the date. Because I don't have the date memorized, but it's on the website. And we'll have all these cars, plus many more, plus a whole bunch in the parking lot. All right, fantastic. All right, thank you. See you, later. See you later, David. All right, peace, man. That was an absolute blast. Come up here, move all these cars around, get to drive things you wouldn't expect to drive, like Dewey Weber's wagon. Oh, look, someone left a big green Nerf ball in the parking lot. I think I'll take it.
at the Murphy Automotive Museum. Amazing time. Uh, thank you, David Neal, and all of his friends, all the people that came out. There were guys from the Navy, from the Navy Depot station, or whatever, that came over that, oh, John Grappman just texted me. Let's see what John says. I'm thinking about going to Supercar Sunday tomorrow, and uh, I called up Grappman to see if he wanted to go. He wants to get coffee afterwards. Dude, it's coffee, cars and coffee there. It's not like just cars. I'm going to be having coffee there also. I got to text him. Hold on a second. Not sure I can stay out in the valley that late. I might end up robbing the bank or something. Wheels and waves coming nine days away. Nine days. Oh, I'm freaking, I'm freaking out because there are still so many things to do. I, I did mention that I have a, a, a car that I'm bringing, a, a very cool car, unexpected car. Could it be a car like this? Don't think so. I'm not even sure what kind of car it would be classified as. It's not, yeah, I, you know, it's just, not, it's not a normal vehicle by any means. What? Grafman still hasn't decided whether he wants to go to the show or not. I'm going to the show because there are going to be cool cars there. I'm going to be hanging out, talking to people, doing some fun stuff. Anyway, I was talking about the Murphy Automotive Museum. Uh, amazing collection. Just really great group of guys. Always fun to go up there. they got those vintage trailers. i got to get one of those canned hams and ham my way across the U.S. Come see you guys. Anyway, big epic day. That Jeep sure is a lot of fun, poking around in the dirt and doing all that kind of stuff. I showed Kathy some of that footage and she goes, hey, we should go up there and do more. I'm like, yes. Anyway, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching once again. If you're not subscribed, what the hell? You be good out there. Don't make me have to come get you in a cool car, because I will.